Uh, then Joe Scarborough on MSNBC pulled back the curtain and revealed that uh, in 2003, on his first visit to MSNBC, it was the night of the president's State of the Union address, a few months after the uh, invasion of Iraq, and people in the newsroom at MSNBC booed during the president's State of the Union address. Well, he got out of the doghouse this morning, John. Did he? Yeah. What did he do? He attacked uh, O'Reilly and Fox, of course. I don't think Bill O'Reilly has any place to pass judgment on a news organization for being biased. Fox News, I, uh, I, I did some guest hosting when Fox News was up there. <laughs> Those people, the second you walk in, from the person that takes you to the elevator, the person that briefs you, they're all Republicans. They're all conservative, except for poor Alan Combs. They keep him locked up in a cage. Uh, heard of Geraldo? He's kind of famous guy. He's got this mustache. You heard of Bob Beckel? You heard of Susan Estrich? And, and not to mention the guest list until they started boycotting us. What did Brian Kilmeade say? We couldn't get John Edwards out of the building? He's hanging around the green room eating Danish and sipping coffee? That's just the on-air people. It's a, you know, it's another canard. What about the people behind the scenes? Well, the absolute truth is, I mean, all right, I'll do a little revelation here. You know, I can't tell you how many of my staffers are liberals. Right. There may be, and, and I think there, without a doubt, there are lots of conservative people on the air here. But the point is, we're always attacked for that. And they get all ruffled when we say, well, you guys are stone liberals. You come at every story from a partisan point of view, a Democrat slash liberal partisan point of view. If you're criticizing us, why do you feel free to do it from the left? Because you're hypocritical. That's why. Scarborough, we like Joe. Morning Joe's not a bad show. Sure, you like Joe. Mm -hmm. I love Mika. I, I just think Mika's fabulous. You know, she's charming. Uh, she was, used to be on with Ashley Banfield, you know. That's a power duo. Well, she survived that. I could just hear the, the phone call last night. Joe, uh, this is your boss over at 30 Rock. We don't reveal that we're liberals. You've got to make up for this somehow. Go do the right thing. Oh, and by the way, we're cleaning up little messes here. Uh, David Schuster was kind of a little mad at me at MSNBC. Somebody's mad at you? Well, he ejected the idea. Well, the other day when we had that uh, lunatic on, Le Leopold. Jason Leopold. Yeah, he was always predicting Rove was going to be indicted every two minutes. And I was. it was probably a little rash of me to suggest that uh, Jason Leopold might have been the source for David Schuster. And Schuster uh, wrote to say, uh, I don't know that guy. He's not my source, blah, 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 blah. Dave's a good guy. We like him. We're watching him right now. Hosts this show at uh, Tucker usually. Hosts. He does a much better job. Yeah. We're, I just wrote him a note back saying, we all like you here doing this show. We, we hope they give you that show. Would you like me to call Phil Griffin for you? Phil might still take my calls. Now, Brandon in Kansas is here with the same complaint. Uh, you may want the John Stewart back that wanted the um, terror, you know, the guy who wanted to go after terrorists back. But we, a lot of, of Americans, just like John Stewart, want the George Bush back who actually had some, acted like he had some competency whenever he joined the administration when he first started after 9-11. Yeah, okay. Well, Brandon, here, here's the deal. Stewart's a very funny guy. I like him. You t you tell me something, Brandon. Do you also love back Bathtub Boy? No. Oh, I hate him. I hate him. He's I, he. I think if I wish he would have. You know who him, I, I mean. I would love you to make fun of him. You know who I mean, a Bathtub Boy. Yes. Yeah. I don't understand, and I mean uh, thanks a lot, Brandon. But uh, just to clear this matter up, I've now been working. In the news since uh, 1973, what does, it, what does that make it now? 34 years, something like that? Yes, it does, John. There's lots of us old hacks in the news business, you know, been around, covered a million stories, done a lot of politics, the occasional war, you know, all that kind of stuff. And there's a ton of them. If you look at TV, there's a ton of people up there have done that. But somebody explained to me why. Because I don't understand this. Why the, uh, the heroes of the left, and my own personal friends, idolize Jon Stewart and Bathtub Boy and think that they're just so dead on. So how did the left go from Walter Cronkite, Dan Rather, Tom Brokaw, Peter Jennings, seasoned news pros covering their world intimately for decades to a comedian? 
and a sportscaster, neither of whom, with all due respect to their talents, have never covered anything. The sportscaster got into sports because he was an avid baseball card collector and knew all those little stats on the back. What you're hearing is people whose, whose judgments and opinions are just like any other citizen. They read it in the paper, they watch on TV, and they have some reaction to it. But they don't know anything about what goes on in the background. They don't have any experience with this in the past. And, and my friends on the left never take that into account. Ever. As far as they're concerned, John Stewart is Walter Cronkite. He just is. Bathtub boy is some eminent speaking from some, you know, ivory tower created by some news executive to, to place an anchor up there on a perfect pedestal for all America to see. And I can't think of a story he's ever covered. Spent most of his career, as Chris Wallace said, dreaming up a good line about a three-point shot. At the buzzer, just in time. Okay, Gibson, you spent three decades doing this stuff, but you know nothing. Let's be honest here. Brett yeah. Hume, you spent four decades doing this stuff, but you know nothing. Right. right. It's defined as the opposite of left. We're not talking about right or left. But it's also the opposite of wrong. Right wrong. John Gibson on Fox News Talk.